Hello, level one. It's Bible story time. I am Teacher Daryl, and I will be your teacher. For this week, we will learn about the creation of God and how did God created the earth where we are living now. Are you excited? That's nice. But before we watch the story about the creation, we will sing first. Listen and follow teacher carefully. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong, and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. Now mountains are His, the rivers are His, the stars are His, and they work too. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do. My God made the trees, my God made the sea, my God made the elephants too. My God is so great, so strong and so mighty, there's nothing my God cannot do for you. Very good, level one. Now, it's time to watch the story. See you later! Creation In the beginning, God created everything. On the first day, He said, Let there be light. On the second day, God made the sky. On the third day, God made the oceans and the land. He also made the grass and plants and trees to grow. On the fourth day, God made the sun and moon and stars. On the fifth day, God made birds and all the creatures that live in the sea. On the sixth day, God made all the animals on the earth. He also made Adam and Eve, the first people. God looked at what he had made. It was a good new world. On the seventh day, God rested from all his work. His creation was finished. Hello, I'm back. For this week's memory verse, we have from Hebrews chapter 3, verse 4, and it says, For the house is built by someone, but God is the creator of everything. Hello, did you enjoy watching the story? It's nice to hear. What is the title of the story all about? Yes, it's the creation of God. How many days did God create the world? He created it for six days. And on the seventh day, God, what did God do? Yes, on the seventh day, God rested. Now I have here a creation view. On the first day, it says here, God separated the light from darkness. And on the second day, God made the sky and the seas. And on the third day, God made the land, the plants, and the flowers. How about on the fourth day, what did God make? God made the stars, moon, and the sun. And on the fifth day, God created the animals in the sky and animals on the sea. How about on the sixth day? Yes, on the last day of the creation, God 
made the land animals and Adam and Eve. And on the seventh day, what happened? Yes, God rested because he was already happy with all his creation. Thank you for listening and watching the story carefully. In order for you to make this graph, see you in my next video.